Using coupons to the extreme might make you think of people with huge binders, clearing store shelves, and then hoarding their stash of bargains. But one local woman says there is another way to take couponing to the extreme, and it involves giving. Box Toledo's Nikki Lee's live to explain shopping and sharing. Well, you can only eat so many boxed noodle dinners. An item couponers can frequently get for free by matching coupons with sales. So why not save some space and help others in need? That's the point of a Perrysburg woman's new blog, to encourage others to shop, then share. Use coupons creatively. If it's a buy one, get one free sale and you've got a buy one, get one coupon, give the other items back to somebody that can use it. Don't keep everything to yourself. Sarah Graff calls herself a super saver. She finds the best deals, matches with a coupon, and shares on her blog, Saving with Sarah. But getting good deals can lead to extra stuff, which Graff has been donating for years. To encourage others to do the same, she started a new blog, Shopping and Sharing for Others. And that's the whole point of both of my blogs is to give back and help other people. Graff says it was hard when she was a young single mother. If we couldn't pay the bills that week, we weren't able to eat, you know, or it was vice versa. It was pay the bills or eat. Graf doesn't want others to go through that, so she posts the deals and where to give your extras on her blog. Keep enough that you can use in the next couple of months, but don't hoard it all to yourself. If you have a family member, a neighbor, look, just look at the need that's out there and don't keep it to yourself. And if you want to see what places are in need and what they're looking for, check out Graf's blog. Or she says you can send her a message and she'll donate for you. We'll have a link to her blogs on our website, foxtoledo.com. Reporting live, Christy Lee, Fox Toledo News.